Welcome to the lesson on Automated External Defibrillator, or AED. In this video, we'll discuss the AED steps for children and infants. An AED is both sophisticated and easy to use, providing life-saving power in a user-friendly device. This makes the device useful for people who have no experience operating an AED and allows successful use in stressful scenarios. However, the proper use of an AED is very important. The purpose of defibrillation is to reset the electrical systems of the heart, allowing a normal rhythm a chance to return. Remember, the criteria for AED use is no response after shaking the individual's shoulders and shouting at them, no breathing or ineffective breathing, and no carotid artery pulse detected. Retrieve the AED. Open the case and turn on the AED. Expose the infant or the child's chest. If the chest is wet, dry it. Remove medication patches. Open the pediatric AED pads. If pediatric pads are not available, then use adult pads. Ensure that the pads do not touch. Peel off the backing. Check for a pacemaker or defibrillator. If either are present, do not apply patches over the device. Apply the pads on the upper right chest above the breast and lower left chest below the armpit. If pads will touch on the chest of an infant, apply one pad on the anterior chest and another pad on the posterior of the infant instead. Ensure that the wires are attached to the AED box. Move away from the individual. Stop CPR and instruct others not to touch the individual. The AED analyzes the rhythm. If the message reads to check electrodes, then ensure the electrodes make good contact. If the message reads shock, then shock the individual. Resume CPR for two minutes. Repeat the cycle. Remember, that if the AED is not working properly, continue performing CPR. Do not waste excessive time troubleshooting the AED. CPR always comes first, and AEDs are supplemental. Also, do not use AED in water. This concludes our lesson on AED. Next, we'll review pharmacological tools.